The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Today we want to discuss the man Joseph. Now we'll begin our discussion on him so far as bitterness is concerned. The man Joseph. Joseph. We'll read Genesis 49, 1 and 2. Genesis 49, verse 1 and 2. Then Jacob called for his sons and said, Gather around so I can tell you what will happen to you in days to come. Jacob said, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob, listening to your father Israel. Jacob, <laughs> ma, munsia, like na muntie, muntie maja, Israel. Now these patriarchs, they trusted God. And they believed the anointing that was on their lives. Like his father Isaac, who will call his children to prepare some meals for him so he will bless them. This one is even said, uh, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob, listen to your father Israel. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Father, you arise and bless. Blessed in the name of the Lord. And your children will be blessed. Mothers, you arise and bless. Blessed in the name of the Lord. And your offsprings will be blessed. Then Jacob called for his sons and said, Twelve of them, gather around so I can tell you what will happen to you in the days to come, I'm going to speak into your future. As far, but this time, Jacob was well advanced in age. And he was about to die. He decided to bless and to speak into the future of his children. For this study, I will take that of Joseph. And maybe done in the subsequent teaching. So he started from Reuben. Now the man blessed them and he took everything into consideration. Now he took their past and he spoke into the future. What Reuben did, the man recapped it, re brought it back and then told him that because of what he has done, he has lost the authority as a firstborn. I pray that these things will never happen to anyone. Amen. But let's dwell on Joseph. Verse 22. Verse 22 to Joseph is a fruitful vine. A fruitful vine near a spring, whose branches climb over a wall. Joseph, ye dia a so aba mine. Dia a so aba nusu eniwa so a mine. Na ne mine a tatra a fesun. Now pay attention to verse twenty-three. Afi she a dunumi and Now with bit 
bitterness arches attacked him. So he's talking now about his brothers. The way they attacked him. They shot at him with hostility. Go back to verse 22. So all that they were doing was to kind of build a wall. But he says that Joseph is a fruitful vine. A fruitful vine near a spring whose branches climb over a wall. But his bow remains steady. His strong arm stayed limber because of the hand of the, of the mighty one of Jacob. Because of the shepherd, the rock of Israel. And so, oh, Now, what the brothers did, but for God, they would have stopped his progress. Because of your father's God, who helps you, because of the Almighty who blesses you with blessings of the skies above, blessings of the deep spring below, blessings of the beast and womb. A free wedja nyan kupon, on muao, na a free trade yan pon ho, on shrao, on fa osu su isra, ni a bunua, a tretre, a siemu en shira, ni nufu, eni a funomu en shira, en shirao. Now verse 20 says, I'll come back to this in the future. Okay, but today yeah. I just want us to be touching it. But look at verse 26. Your father's blessings are greater than the blessings of the ancient mountains. <laughs> oh, oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> the, the yeah, that is Jacob man. Than the, than the bounty of the age old hills. Let all these blessings that is on your father rest on the head of Joseph and the brow of the prince among his brothers. Okay. Emra Yosef etifi de oyi no fri ni nue no mu pam pam so by his na blessing pam, he is made him the prince of his brothers na che se ohwe ishira ohira ohwe gu na pam pam ya na che se wa ye no pani e woni nua no mu entem if there's an example of a man who effectively dealt with bitterness in scripture i do not know of any other than Joseph. So be a watch Romu or Timmy any Yaudia or Crocker and Yah, me name will be our ten Yusuf. The eleventh son of Jacob. Or no, ye Yakob, ne man of your tossu do bako. You see, people offend, people hate, but you have a group of people hunting for your life in intense hatred is worrying. Nipa et to me ya no met yang ne bin so et to me tying. Now she nipa wan kasa botin ku abwa wan wano se wa ta wobia wa tino aya na e hupa. If there's any group like that, may the Lord set confusion amongst them. Nipa be at his eye, nya men fam in timi wan se en tin si wantem. It is worrying. Eh ya ye hagin. Yet to have ten blood brothers se, collaborating in hatred. Against their own brother is strange. Who and one one said, Wow, be who say, Nipper be, Ninia no man cassa or no one fear of no chrome, be you do one cassa come on one bomb one, what tiny pabaco? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Copim do be a uniform. I'm just taking Benjamin out, so I'm saying ten. So we eat Benjamin free one, not just one be you do. These guys who collaborate. We know what said that. And decide to tell their father that Joseph is dead. No, what said that? What catch the one papa? No, we just say Joseph. Wewu. And for years, none of them even whispered to the years of the father that this thing that we told you in 1990 is, is not true. Now, in Frisia, they, they stood by it. 
such wicked people Christia bebre no wo mu bia mo ho wampo ankyere won papa sensema wo kan no enimu o wo kura mu e frisia bebre blood brothers enuanom a woni no fie funu krum it is devilish we e ya bone for them the reason for their hatred nyenti a wo tan no no genesis 37 mo ye hwe mose ho ma edi kan no eti adua genesis 37 adua sa enson now from verse 1 ye sha se afi nyimu edi kan no a this is a popular story. We, eh, as some are yinina yini mo. But I wouldn't assume that it is popular, so I will not talk about. it. And so, yeah, can say yini minti men can want them. Jacob lived in the land where his father had stayed, the land of Canaan. Now, Jacob, tina asasi a neja ye so okwa eni kanan asasi no so. Now remember that this is the land that God has promised to give to Abraham and his and his descendants. Adofunum yen kai se asasi ena unyami she Abraham bose odibema ono eni na sefo. Now this is the account of Jacob's family line. Joseph, a young man of seventeen, was tending the flock with his brothers, the sons of Bilhah. And the sons of Zilpah, his father's wife. And he brought their father a bad report about them. Yeni Yakob Ebusiano Abakwasem Yosef Din Frisia Duns or Din Frisia Dunsono. Or Nini Nyanum Koshe in Yang na na Abrantiwano ni Neja Yrenum Bilha ni Silpa Ma e Wohono. Na Yosef Bekan Wonho and Semone Echre Neja. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons because he had been born to him in his old age. And he made an ornate rope for him. Now his son said, Joseph, ye in Kokra Brimu Eba Enti. Now Israel don't know a sin in the money in a enti or pampa caribi at the man. When his brothers saw that their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. Now, anytime that you are not able to speak any kind word to anyone, what that means is that there is bitterness in your spirit. Now, even your spouse. Yeah. Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. Joseph saw that he na bra o kachi le nini ano mno watane no sene kane no. Verse six. He said to them, "Listen to this dream I had, and this is a great mistake." In your mercy, ano. I said, "Now can't you one say, 'Muntie daya masui na we na yamfum swaka siye.'" Now later on, I will explain why we should all be careful with our mouths. Actually, actually, the entire essence is in our shirt. You are not casting it. We are binding. We were binding sheaves of grain out in the field when suddenly my shelf rose and stood upright. While your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. Now she, ye chichiri a yo a fear fi a wo a fum. Now mefi no sorry jina chirbing na she mefi fi no cha mefi no si ay na e kotu mefi no. Now verse eight. And you mu en wacheno. His brother said to him, Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he has said. And you know, no more catcher and say, Chere say, who be D and so hene, and now who be D and so to me. Now, Diana, any name semnunti, or cause what Tanya no be brave. Now, they hated him because of what his dream and what he had said. Diana, any name semnunti, or cause so a Tanya no be brave. Verse 7 says that, verse 6 says, he said to them, listen to this dream I had. Now catch the one say, Muntie Daya Masui. 
and they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he had said it is not so much about the dream if the dream was in his mind that would have been okay but they hated him because of what he has said. See, people will always hate you for what you have said. See, they may envy you for the car you ride in, the clothes you, you, you put on, the position you occupy, they may envy you for anything that you might have. But they will always hate you for what you have said. Now, when you put on anything wonderful and nice, people may envy you. They can't hate you for that. But they will always hate you. For what you have said. That is why enemies always want to catch opponents in what they have said and hand them over to authorities or to public ridicule. That is why people want to record. When someone is speaking, you just record and pass it on. But the person wouldn't say that when I was recording, she was in a green dress. No, the green dress does not matter. It may be nice. The person may envy you, but what is important is what came out of your mouth. Because you and your word are one. Luke chapter 20 verse 20. Are we together? Keeping a close watch on him, that is on Jesus, they sent spies who pretended to be sincere. They hoped to catch him, Jesus, in something he said, so that they might hand him over to the power and authority of the governor. Now, what tell you? Now, what's smart and straff will be out? What pet to hear one and nim said, yeah, what you need, Patrine, now what compare no assem. Even Jesus. Yes, They hope to catch Jesus in something he said. So that they might hand him over to the power and authority of the governor. Now we no ashe amrado any emra nini tumino and sem. So, when you want to speak, look over your shoulders. Be mindful of what you say. Be mindful of what you say. Be mindful of what you have to say. Where you say what you have to say. Where you say what you say. What you have to say. Where you say what you say. When you say what you have to say. Where you say what you have to say. What you and most importantly, how you say what you have to say. I want us to bow our heads for a moment. Let us pray for grace. In what comes out of our mouth. That God will grant us great wisdom to oversee the mouth and check it. Because enemies will always ride on that. They can mesmerize your life. My mouth, Lord.
grant grace Lord. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Let's come back to Joseph. One day these wicked brothers of Joseph decided to end it all. That could be now they decided to kill him. Genesis 37. Let's take it from verse 18. Genesis 37. But they saw him in the distance. And before he reached them, they plotted to kill him. Now, the next verse. Here comes the dreamer. They said to each other. Now, the father didn't name their brother dreamer. But when people have bitter spirit against you, they don't call you by your name. I say, Ne papa and will not unturn thy so for now so say nipa etanwa na wa pidi yamao. Yeah. But even dreamer is okay. But they would we, have called you Wujaf. <laughs> we Wujaf Wujaf never. What can say die so for no crowd ye na what the amani to four bo na they don't care who you are. And fang ne niawte. Verse twenty. Yeah, share in your mood you know. Come now, let's kill him. And what? Throw him into one of these systems and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Now, the last sentence, shall we read together? Then we will see what counts his dream. And you know, say, Efe, Momra, not young Kuno, and Fano, and two, a Murayimubi, a moon, not young Kase, a Waboni, and a Ariano, not young Shedi, and a Diano, a bay. Then we will see what comes out of his dreams. Not Yashenia, and a Diano, a bay. But let's go to Psalm 2, verse 1 to 4. Now, so Mummy and Shed, and Yum, Mianuno, and you more a decay could see a nine. Are we here? Yeah, we thank God. Verse 1 says that. Why do the nations conspire? And the people plot in vain. Now verse 2. The kings of the earth rise up. And the rulers band together against the Lord. And against his anointed. Saying. Let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. This is a messianic sign, but you see, the application is the same. We, if a Christian, no, 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 a big one, verse 4. Shall we read together? The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. So let's go and take Genesis 37, verse 20 again. And then we'll add Psalm 2, verse 4. Are huh? we together? Come now. Let's kill him and throw him into one of these systems and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Then we will see what comes of his dreams. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scores out them. Do you know? Most of my dick, I eat every son and son. I say, I feel Mumra, ma, young Kuno, not young Fanon to Emura Ibimu. Na yen can say Abwa Boni bi Ayeno. Na ya shed ye ne dieno ebe ye. Na utwaso ewo enyum mienu and nine or se de or tio sro sro no esre e wade e duo hufel. Now why is the one on and thrown on high laughing at their their wicked agenda? I didn't know your tio sro sro no or sri wajina tu boni. Some one oh five. Umi and share enyum or ha any inumuno. 
verse 8. Psalm 105, verse 8. Now, I'll take this Psalm 105 from the New Living Translation. Now, why is the one enthroned on high laughing at the agenda? Why? He always stand, stands by his covenant. The commitment he made to a thousand generations, he will not turn away from that because of the agenda. No, he, he laughs at them. No. One of the things I want to add is now verse 9. This is the covenant he made with Abraham and the oath he swore to Isaac. And this is irreversible. Irrevocable. He has sworn on oath. So this voice cannot cause him to change it. So when they, they say, let's see what will happen in heaven laughed. So when these brothers, these wicked and their wicked schemes, they thought that they could bring an end to his life and stop him from going to where God has ordained for him. Heaven loved. Now, Psalm 105. Let's continue from verse 10. Look at how God added the steps of Israel to bring to pass what he has said to Abraham. He God confirmed the promise made to Abraham and by oath to Isaac to Jacob as a decree now as a decree and to the people of Israel as a never ending covenant. Now Odyssey what my Jacob said as said here now Odima Israel said da apamono. Mm. Verse 11. I will give you the land of Cana as your special possession. This one. Now, say, God will give it to them. Now, in verse 12, he said this when they were few in number, a tiny group of strangers in Cana. He said this. Verse 13 says that they wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another. Yet he did not let anyone oppress them. He warned kings on their behalf. Now listen, God warned kings on their behalf because of the special agenda he has for them, not only to possess Cana, but to give the whole world Christ. God shielded them and warned kings concerning these people. So before Israel will get to Jericho, he's going to warn the people already. Yeah. Do not touch my chosen people and do not hurt my prophets. See, brothers and sisters, God rules. He has not left the world to chance, not at all. See, God is firmly in control. And nothing nor anyone can to what his plans. Now, he holds our lives. Especially the ones who have set their heart upon him. Now, when we were growing up, we used to sing this tree song. Mm. 
Unyami wumu bibia Unyami wumu wumu bibia beye Unyami wumu bibia rabe Unyami wumu No conspiracy. No incantation. No enchantments. No weapon. Fashioned against his anointed will prosper. I came to tell you that no conspiracy. No incantation. No enchantment. Scripture says that no weapon fashioned against us will prosper. <laughs> Now, let's go back to Joseph. Joseph. So we are in verse 16. Now, the writer, the psalmist now dwells on Joseph. And his role in the possessing of the Canaan agenda. That is why heaven laughs. Because this young man is in the agenda. And, and nothing can stop it. I want you to lift your face. And watch us out. Just love the Lord. Just love the Lord. You may be going through times. But nothing. Nothing. With what God's purpose for your life. In the name of Jesus. Verse 16 says. He called for a famine on the land of Canaan. Cutting off its food supply. Because of one person. Then he sent someone to Egypt ahead of them. Joseph, who was sold as a slave, God sent him ahead of them. Now, the next verse says, They, his brothers, bruised him his feet with fetters. And place his neck in an iron collar. Or say, that will be very, very, very painful and hurting. Uh, yeah, but you no, see, no. the end of the matter is better than the beginning. What the idea? Yeah, and the year, and say, now what the important mea and the nine at the no to the dear and consum consum emu. Now, verse 19. Until the time came to fulfill his dreams. <laughs> what they said, we will see what will come out of. The Lord tested Joseph's character. All we need to always hold on to is character. Now verse 20. Yeah, 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 look at this one. Then Pharaoh sent for him and set him free. The ruler of the nation opened his prison door. Now in a smile, Emma woke to no a by na near Udi or Minus Nankasa Ubi a fiasa prono Ediman. The ruler of the nation opened his prison door. So who can shut? I mean, that is what he is saying. The ruler of the nation. Open his prison door. So who who shall uh, yeah, force him in? Do minus one casa and was sun in a home and a wine and obey to me at the goom put you. Finally, twenty one. Joseph was put in charge 
of all the king's household. He became a ruler over all the king's possessions. Na odinu si ni fi so penning na de owunyina o hine no de owunyina o de mano. Who says God no day? Why and as when yanku pon ni ho. Let's listen to Joseph. His own testimony to his brothers. Joseph chapter 1 verse 45. Joseph chapter 1 verse 45. Genesis 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 45. Come close to me. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. Joseph catch the union and say, Mun chimpini me. Now we chipni no. Now say, Mini munia, Yosef wa muton no ba misrimuno. And now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here because it it was to save lives. That God sent me ahead of you. Let me jump to verse 9. Now listen to brothers Joseph's testimony. Now hurry back to my father. Now let's pick this from the ESV. The English standard version, if you have. Yes. Hurry and go up to my father and say to him, Thus, thus says your son Joseph, God has made me Lord of all Egypt. Come down to me and do not tarry. Joseph, he has made me Lord over all Egypt. Now listen to this, brothers. And sisters. Joseph, like David, had a certain perception of life. Joseph, say na David itiano no owo in susuye bi ewo abraboyimu and a confidence in the God of Israel. Any areshemu sunku bi a wowo e wo Israel nyankopon ni mo. See for them, everything is God. Bribiara e ye o nyankopon. Bribiara. See one day somebody Shema was insulting David, and Abisha wanted to go and stop this man. David said, "Stop." Maybe God is has told him. To insult David. For them, everything is God. There be na shema. Pese o didi David ya tem na o kaseti ano. And na bisha ye se o kwako kachiren. So unkana nuntum. And na David kachiren se jai. Ebi ano o nyamina asumane su o medi matem. See, if you hold this possession of life, you don't hold grudge against anyone. Adolfo no me se o wasa agwini e wa brabo mwa. Unu o bia an konto kwa u. To the extent that you are always telling the side, your side of the story. To the extent that you are looking for an opportunity to avenge. Now, David will not do that. Joseph, they think that everything is God. See, when Jacob finally died, his brothers were afraid. Joseph, nani ni yano mno usroi that Joseph will pay them back, so they sent a plea to him. Na yeye onse wuni ya Joseph obetu ya wamboni ya waya yano soka enti wosumai se wanko pane chao. You want to know what they say? Obetu unu di waka e. Yeah, Arthur want to know what they say. Biya na obetu wote. So let's go to Genesis 50. From verse 15. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, What if Joseph holds a grudge against us and pays us back for all the wrong we did 
to him. Now Yosef, you know who knows that when Jah a woman, what can I say? If be a Yosef better than him, now what you are in born in a year no so ka. See, their thinking was right, even though their 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 mind is wrong. So I say, yeah, what you know? Because they know that this man loved Joseph, loved the father, and maybe the concession he's making is just because of the father. Now, when the old man died, he said, "Let's maybe he will pay us back." Now, verse sixteen. So they sent word to Joseph, saying, "Your father left." See your father as if the the man who is dead is not their father. <laughs> oh, we bad. Fa, fa, fa. And see, yeah. Oma waka kachira Yosef say, Weja, he say, Weja wui ya nacha say. He say the ayi Joseph no neja enu wui. Your father left these instructions before he died. Now they are going to tell lies. Afi waka say, Weja wui ya no mashia say. This is what you are to say to Joseph. I ask you to forgive your brothers the sins and the wrongs they committed in treating you so badly. Now please forgive the sins of the servants of the God of your father. Now they have placed themselves as servants. When their message came to him, just when their message came to him, Joseph wept. His brothers then came and threw themselves down before him. We are your slaves. Verse 19. But Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? And Joseph catched it once. Now, because it is only God who revenge. I don't do that. Since I will you... leave that. Vengeance is the laws. So I will not revenge. So I am not in the place of God. And now listening to his perception about God. Verse 20. You intended to harm me. But God intended it for good. To accomplish what is now being done. The saving of many lives, including your lives. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. Who have been called according to his purpose. This is how Joseph's story concluded. But I've decided to jump to the conclusion talking about his perception of life. But Joseph actually attempted to revenge on his brothers. I'll talk about that. And I also want to, uh, you to be thinking about this. See, when Joseph became the prime minister. Didn't he know where his father and his brothers were? So no Why didn't he go and look for them? Think about that.